Team score knotted up at seven apiece between Iowa Central and Northeastern Oklahoma A&M. We are in the semifinals of the NJCAA portion of the NWCA Multi-Divisional National Duels here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jason Bryant here with you. We're picking up action now at 157 pounds. Quickly in on the leg is one of the best in the country. He is returning NJCAA National runner-up Richie Lewis of Iowa Central quickly out to a 2-0 lead. It was a sophomore from Toms River, New Jersey. Going right to work with a two-on-one tilt. Get some near fall points here. Lewis, as we said, second a year ago. Ranked number two in the country. His opponent out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, freshman Christian Holguin Mendez. And Lewis out to a 5-1 lead after Holguin Mendez gets that escape. This is a situation where Iowa Central is going to want to get some bonus points with a clear mismatch if you're looking at the rankings. And Lewis in on the attack again. Could not finish that time. Holden Mendez trying to get in on the action. 148 to go. Nothing doing there for Holden Mendez. Iowa Central won the first two bouts here in this duel. NEO has come back with a major decision and a decision at the halfway point. Good part of the lineup for Iowa Central with back-to-back -back returning All-Americans. Something you don't typically see a lot in the junior college ranks is a lot of the wrestlers that have aspirations to wrestle at four-year colleges will wrestle competitively one year and then redshirt, get their associate's degree and then move on to a four-year institution. Under a minute to go here in the first period. A 5-1 lead for Lewis after that early takedown in. Three-point near fall off that 2-1-1 tilt. Trying to go knee dip is Holguin Mendez. Half shots, nothing doing there. And that'll end the first. And I think it's a little bit odd that a wrestler from New Jersey goes all the way out to Iowa to wrestle at a community college. But again, Iowa Central, great tradition in putting wrestlers from all over the country into Division I programs. And of course, they're also put wrestlers into some of the top programs in Division II and Division III. You know, Wartburg, the powerhouse in Division III, has benefited from, uh, from a lot of junior college transfers. Lewis started on bottom here in the second, got out, and extends his lead now to 6-1. to one. Sweep single, Lewis in on the attack, going to finish. Two more for the takedown, now extends his lead now to eight to one. He's just going to let Holguin Mendez free. A minute to go here in the second. Now 8-2, to two, riding time at 54 seconds. We talked about Iowa Central sending wrestlers 
on to the next level, the four-year schools. We haven't seen that yet from NEO, mainly because this is their second year as a program. Last year, Joe Renfro brought a lot of his wrestlers from his previous school at Labette. Over Mendez in on the leg. Lewis tried to funk out of the position by grabbing the near leg. Didn't convert on that attempt, but kept going and comes out with the two, and now he's going to go back to that two-on-one tilt. He's at 10 to 2, working on a major decision here. Riding time now up over a minute. And the two near fall was awarded after he broke the grip. Joe Renfro doesn't seem to be a fan of the chairs here at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum. Well, they're going to call Lewis for locking hands. He's going to explain to the referee that he was over the top. The referee said, no, no, son, you weren't. So a point as we start the third period with Holguin Mendez on bottom. Lewis quickly returns, Holguin Mendez back down to the mat. The tight waist, chops to the near side. Tries to go back to that two-on-one tilt and rolls it through. Holguin Mendez does a good job at rolling through and fighting back to his base. Mendez up and out to his feet, and Lewis just lets him go for an escape. So now 12 to 4. Lewis showing a little bit of that uh, Jersey swagger there, posturing the way he did. Tom's River, New Jersey. Great wrestling town. The wrestlers from Tom's River East, West, North, and South all over the college wrestling landscape. There's two more in the takedown. And Lewis going to cut him free, so now 14 to 5. We'll have to see if we can put up some points here. Maybe you're in a technical fall. He's got the major. Mendez not going to give up without a fight, though. And there's a little unnecessary shove from Mr. Lewis. And he's going to get docked for a point. 14 to 6, minute to go. Lewis says, hey, my bad, dude. Underneath is Lewis finishing and converting now 16 to 6. Looks Fireman's missed the arm but kept with it. Has got the leg back bowed pretty deep. Over Mendez doing a good job of bellying out. Make sure he does not go over. There's one more escape, so 16 to 7 now. Riding time is short. Inside trip. Going to take Holguin Mendez to his back for a moment. 18-7 tack on a point for riding time. Big major decision for your returning junior college national runner-up, Richie Lewis. I think of Iowa Central now an 11-7 lead after 157 pounds.